Hello, this is Brian Fisher. I am a software IT specialist for IBM Tivoli Business Automation for the Southeast region. And today we will cover how to install and configure IBM Tivoli Composite Application Management for WebSphere version 6.1 Data Collector, or ITCAM for WebSphere DC for short, on Red Hat Enterprise Linux 3. In the previous video, we learned how to install the managing server. We will need this component in order to install the data collector. But before we begin, we must verify that our database is running, in our case DB2, and that our application server is running, that we want to monitor, in our case, WAS. So in order to do this, we will open up a new terminal. We will change users by using the su-db2 inst1 in order to execute the db2 start command and it was successfully started. Now we need to su back to root and we need to change directory to the was home bin directory which is opt ibm itcam webseer ms was bin and we will execute the server status.sh command with the switch dash all to find out if any of our WAS servers are running. And it says server one cannot be reached, so we need to start it. We will actually execute the manage profiles command with the switch dash list profiles. And this will list all our profiles for the WAS server. And we see we only have the default uh, profile. And that is being used for the managing server. So we will need to create a new profile. So we use the manage profiles command again with the switch dash create. And then the option dash profile name. And we'll call it default two and then the option profile dash profile path we need to list the, in the entire path so it'll be opt IBM ITCAM WebSphere MS WAS profiles and the name of the profile which is going to be default to. We use the option dash template path with the full directory of opt IBM ITCAM WebSphere MS WAS profile template and we're going to use the default profile so that's the default path and we hit enter now one important thing to note that this was home directory will only be the directory that I've specified if you're using the uh, combined installation via the managing server installation for IT cam so it'll install the WAS server under the ITCAM folder rather than just the WebSphere server folder. So just to note that. So this process will take a few minutes, so wait till it completes. And it says that profile default 2 now exists. So we are prepared to start the servers. Now because we're using the managing server here as well, we will start that uh, profile first by doing start server server one dash profile name for this for the option and default you'll start that one as we see here the default profile has started now we will run the am start script and that's located under ms bin am start 
Now this script is supposed to start the kernel watchdog services and the messenger dispatcher services. So this will take a few minutes. Now the script is completed when you see the SAM GPS successfully joined kernel statement. Just hit the return key and you can go back to the command prompt. And to test this, we can run the command klctl.sh with the option status. and we can go through and verify that it has started so now we will go back to the WAS home bin and we will run start server server 1 dash profile name for this switch and default 2 for the profile so we want to start profile default 2 and this is the profile that the data collector will monitor and it says it's up and running so now we are prepared to start the DC installation so we need to locate our installation media it's under root media for us and it's under IT cam for a web sphere DC for data collector and we will run launchpad.sh now this is the common installation launch pad for all the IT cam components so you'll become very familiar with this you click on install IT cam and it shows you the component you're installing data collector 6.1 it is key here to note that we are installing the data collector for 6.1. The version should match the version on the WebSphere application server that you want to monitor. And we have WAS 6.1, so this is the correct data collector. And now we are presented with the installation wizard. So we click Next. Accept the terms. Next. Uh, we'll accept the default. Uh, destination directory next it asks if we want to generate a response file to store these settings we don't we'll just install the data collector and here it's giving us an installation summary it all looks good click install and throughout this installation process you'll see screenshots of the managing server if you've already done the managing server installation these are the same so now it's time to take a break, wait for the data collector installation to complete, and then we will continue with configuring the DC. So this concludes this video on how to install ITCAM for WebSphere data collector version 6.1. In the next video, I will show you how to configure the data collector. So I would like to thank you for watching, and you may contact me anytime at bfisher at us.ibm.com. Thanks.